Hey Tara, you know what rainy days are good for? Uh, going to our new property? Yes, when customers say, oh yeah, you don't need to come today and work, I, oh. we know it's rainy. Well, we'll utilize that to work on our own spot. So, Personal day. let's get it. So it's our first time setting foot on our new property because uh, today as it's owners. raining. What's that? As owners. As owners, yes. Because uh, it's raining today so I told my customers it's probably not a good day to work on a shed uh, getting your power tools all wet. So we came out here and we're going to start with the first thing which is moving. If you see off in the distance there's a storage container. We're going to bring that over here next to my sister's house so they can have kind of a garage and we got pavers from a backyard we're doing some cement pavers and we're gonna use those as kind of a little footings for the um, for the storage container so we're gonna put them on the pallets right here and then when we get our tractor they'll be easily moved after that we're gonna get on some leaky pipes right Tara oh yeah fix those leaks <laughs> second order of business fumigate the dwellings we made sure ignition sources were off. <laughs> we don't want to start any wood burning piles, do we? <laughs> All right, you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Grenade. One. Did it go far? Yeah, it went far. Bro, you smell it already. Get right. out of there. Hurry. Number two. Ah, oh. fuck. <laughs> go. <laughs> All right. Woo. Here we help you. Country life, you gotta get rid of all the critters. All right guys, so this is the actual KOA maintenance building which had all the bathrooms in the kitchen. And it needs a lot of love. We didn't care about the condition, we just wanted a foundation. Yeah, foundation, and, plumbing, electrical. And we have enough plumbing and electrical yeah. for like three or four houses in yeah. there. So as you walk in, you can see, well, nothing glorious. This is where you'd make your nice little reservations. <laughs> Excuse me, I have like two camp spots for 20 people. <laughs> and then in here, they'd make your porridge probably, you know, for all the campers. It's got a little built-in commercial sink drain. And then back in here, you got, they had 320 gallon water heaters. And then, let's see if we can flip a light on. Oh yeah, and you get all the electrical back there. We had two service drops. That's a lot of electrical. And then in here, you have. Let's see if there's another light. This is the men's or female. This is the women's. I'll turn on a light right here. Yeah, so we can take showers, toilets. So we can invite all our family. We gotta go off the shower here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's nothing glorious. Got nice Marlite on the walls and oh, geez, look at that floor. But it's the start. Start to a never-ending project. Our place isn't scary. Look, that's just how light's supposed to be, and that's how you hook up lights. Yeah. <laughs> So since this is the first day that we actually own the place, we can go through all these drawers. And this reminds you of you being a kid, being in your dad's stuff, and just thinking, what could you do with all this stuff? Wait, this is a nice little punch chisel, or punch, and then a little drywall action here. Doesn't look like it's done any work before. What is this? That's a spreader. Oh, spread them. Spread, <laughs> spread something. <laughs> Hook action. All these keys to one day or, or to one thing. These actually probably like old before. keys like, left behind on the campground. Like yeah. People, lost their keys. people left their cars and just said, "Hey, take it. You can have it." <laughs> <laughs> okay, so usually when you uh, buy a new house, it comes with a nice little utility panel, you know, so you can turn off all your little breakers. And we're trying to. Turn off our well pump. So, Tara, why don't you show them um, What's what our electrical one? panel looks like? Yeah, door number one. Number one. <laughs> A six foot tall commercial style 
Yeah, it says Maine. There you go. I don't even want to touch that thing right now. Door number two. I don't know. Let's check it out. Hurry. Turn on my oven breaker. Door number two. You win. Oh, more breakers. More breakers. Oh, very nice. We got some little mud wasp camping out. Zinsco. Hey, they're freeload, man. I wonder if they got the reservations. Freeloading. <laughs> and this is our amazing new pond with white sandy beaches. And that's a man-made dam right there. So I measured, it's about 15 foot high, which is not bad. So if we bring some sand in here, clear out some trees, might be a good time. We got all this hose bibs and power everywhere. Here's another one right here. And uh, fire hydrants. All right, so this is probably the most confusing tour ever. We just randomly show you different spots <laughs> of the land, but this is the little barn. They kept things for the uh, small vineyard. And as you can see, it's well organized and um, they were proficient at making wine. Well, looks like we're gonna have to um, fix our well roof. It blew off in a storm back there. <laughs> it looks like a porta potty <laughs> with no roof. Uh, but yep, this is the front of our property and uh, the road splits it and you can see a little Merlot vineyard in the back. And now we're on a small little hilltop and right here, there's some more power and water. This must've been where they initiated, I don't know, whatever. KOA leaders might be running the show, but uh, we're gonna make so, it something even cooler. Yeah, and then right there is there's a bigger mountain, which our water tank is on top. We'll show you that in a little bit. I capture it all, babe. People, People want to see what's going on. See how what country going. life looks like. Blown off roof back on the well house. Yeah, that's our outhouse. Well house. AKA well. Um, but the windstorm looks like it blew it off, so we're gonna try to attach it with some paper clips and um, <laughs> should be good tape. for another year. Duck that's tape. how they do it out here in the cuts. Country life, Brian and Michelle, where you at? Get out here.